What's up everybody, it's Eric from Axe Slider Brothers Customs and it's time to demystify one of the most common questions we get here at the shop. And that is, what's the difference between a stock Bronco and then an LUBR or what we call a Luber and then the Resto Mod Bronco that really has become popular here lately. Most people don't realize that every Bronco from the factory was actually built just like this limestone green 1974 rig. You'll notice that this one has very small tires. They were actually about 28 inches in diameter back in the day. However, the front fender has a little bit taller wheel well than the rear. The rear kind of slopes back here in the quarter panel and kind of cuts off that tire a little bit, giving it a more sporty feel that was very popular back in the 60s and 70s. So this is a stock height Bronco and you'll notice it's pretty low to the ground and it's very traditional looking. And as Broncos became more popular, so did people's desire to want to modify those vehicles, make them more capable. Enter the Luber. L-U-B-R. What does that mean? Well, it stands for lifted uncut Bronco. Pretty straightforward when you think about it. And you'll notice that this vehicle on the left is just that. These are actually 32 inch BFG all terrains and they're a little more rugged looking compared to the stock size 28 inch tires that they had back in the day. Now, you'll notice that the body is still very similar. Nothing's been cut, nothing's been modified. It still has that front fender that's a little taller than the rear and the rear quarter panel has that sporty flare on the back. This look has really become popular lately and I get calls all the time for the Luber when people know what it means. Now, it's time to look at my favorite Bronco, the Resto Mod. So the common misconception is the Bronco behind me was actually built from the factory. Well, it wasn't. They all look like that stock, uncut, normal height Bronco that we showed you at the beginning. This is what we call the Resto Mod. You'll notice it's very different than the two that I previously showed you. Let's break that down a little bit further. In the front fender, you'll notice that it's actually been cut out to create more wheel clearance. When you add this flare and trim this out, it gives you more tire clearance. So you could fit 33 inch tires or even 35 inch tires in some cases if the lift kit's big enough. It levels out both the front and the rear quarter panel and creates more of a level look that's really popular today. Here in the back, it has the same cut rear quarter panel and that same fender flare. And the major difference is you'll notice that that sporty stock style rear quarter is very different on this one. This look became popular and very common as people wanted that rugged 4x4 look. It's more capable, it can tackle more terrain, and it looks pretty awesome on top of that. What's really interesting is today, this is actually the more valuable Bronco. Originality doesn't really mean much in the Bronco space unless it's a hardcore collector that wants something to stash in a collection. But everybody wants to drive their Bronco. They want to be seen in it. They want to take it out. Everyone loves to see them on the road. And so this has become very common. And some of these modifications that take time and money bring a little bit higher value. Now, if you'd like help finding the perfect Bronco that fits your personality, give us a call. That's what we do. We actually offer the widest gamut of Bronco solutions anywhere in the United States. We'd be happy to help you. About 100 Broncos come through our shop every year and we love building relationships with new people. We can make your Bronco dreams come true. So call or text 309-530-5555. Check out our website and hit that like button somewhere around here. Subscribe because we're gonna put more cool content out and help you understand what these Broncos are and are not. Tune in next time. God bless, and we'll see you soon.